This is such a cute little area. I can't leave it. For me, that. Oh man. This is such a cute little place. So this is my mom's place. It's adorable. Hello, vanity. Hello, hello. Um, this is the restroom. And this is where my gram gram sleeps. Oh, the hunger have been the second. <laughs> now we're finally washing our hair. That was like the best massage of my life. That was good shit. Let's go. <laughs> We're finally eating some dim sum. Dim sum in China is delicious. I can't wait to share with you guys. There is, that's my grandma. My mama. A little haul of what I bought. First thing, a beanie. A beanie. Looks cute when I let my hair down. Mong la, is that mong la? Thấy đâu sai đây ra? And then this. Beanie one, and we got beanie two. And then we got shoes. This. And I got this. That one actually looks really good on my mom. We got some boots. We got this jacket. Yeah. Wow, 
We're on a bicycle in a Samlin Te. Back in the day, this is the use for transportation. A lot of them are already out, but there are still some doing their business. But right now, it's not. They have this motor thing going on. And it used to be a bicycle, so they're kind of updated. <laughs> Wow,好大陸啊。是感覺哦,南山。是是開真的啊。對,想吃口吃。對,到了班的street。
，别傻了，正经大肉串，啊、美食无需等待。我这个十块钱三条，加辣椒加大块肉，正经大肉串，喷香一喷，三条十块钱哦，还有更多饮品搭配哦。要一条，你还在等什么？五块钱，别傻了，正经大肉串，美食无需等待。不吃不吃不吃，你吃不不掉，正经鸡排，黄渤的无需等待。孜然加辣椒加大块肉，正心大肉串，喷香油嫩。嘿，我得意啊，知道。大铁罐都饭，又入唔到去。你食咁多嘢唔可以入去啊？喺嗰度。系啊，我做乜要啊？我点解攞到一个就？<laughs> Very good. Huh? Yeah. This is a good one. 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 We got lots of chokers. Phone. Let me give you guys closer. These are my favorites. The one with the bows. And the one with the star. And then we got lots of earrings. This one has a little Hello Kitty. It's a 
about 8 p.m. here and it's still really lively. It's bumpy. transfer this is hot water it keeps it hot flame and pour it in here cool. put it back and this gets steeped and then it goes into that one this place is called Jihoi and a lot of tourists and all that people go shopping here because all the stuff is like pretty affordable and they're like pretty good quality but the only thing is that you have to bargain here so if you don't know how to bargain you know what I mean it's not that good like if you don't know how to bargain then you end it you end up just getting tricked like a lot of money so we're shopping for souvenirs and stuff now and my mom's buying some jinja or kande it's actually pretty good I look really gross and ugly right now, but I just wanted to give you guys a little update about my trip so far. Um, literally already tomorrow, I'm going to go back to the States. So I think this trip has been, it's been, this trip has been really good because I've been spending a lot, a lot of time with my mom. Like I think. Yeah, exactly two weeks with my mom and for me, I never get sick of her. I mean, she's a mom. She forces me to do things I don't like, but it's always for my own good, like drinking water, a lot of water here. But, um, I got to see my grandma and I don't know when's the next time I'll get to see her. Um, so I'm going to miss her a lot. Um. I don't know, it's just been very relaxing. Sometimes, you know how when you go on vacation, like, you plan a lot of things, and sometimes, instead of being a being a relaxing thing, it kind of becomes, um, not like a hassle, but, you know, when you do a lot of things on a vacation, it's not as relaxing as if you did nothing, because you have so much things planned, and you gotta wake up early, and all of that. But for me, in this trip, since I've been to China and Hong Kong before like I don't really have to do certain things while I'm here because I'm kind of here a lot anyway so it's just really relaxing because I did nothing but spent time with my family so it's very good so um at the same time I'm very very excited to go back to the states because I'm not gonna lie like the people here are really very very rude like i'll give you guys examples like you know how in like in the like elevators and stuff usually you wait for the person to get out first and then um then you go back in or what am i talking about okay so like you wait for the people to come out before you go in right so i was inside ready to come out and before i could even come out all these people just shoved me back in like they're super rude 
or another time when um there's there were um two cash register ladies and they're like next and i was walking towards the cash register and the person in back of me just shoved me out of the way and then went in front of the line and then went to the register lady i'm like what the heck it's so I, I i was like um you guys don't have any manners and she just looked at me and then now it's a guy in back of me because the lady in back of me cut in front of me right so the guy in back of me like started waving his items next to the in front of the cash register lady as in like oh i'm next but really i was next so he was just waving it next to her like oh take my item first and i looked at him and i'm like do you not know how to wait in line and then he mumbled something in mandarin that i, I had no idea what he was saying there was another time I was waiting in line and the lady just went right in front of me. And so when she was done paying, I just went up to the register really fast and kind of shoved her. And she was like, ow. And I'm like, I just look at her, you know. I don't know. Some The people here are very rude. So I'm kind of excited to go back. Um, Just because, I mean, majority of the people um, in the States, they're not rude. You know, at least they have more manners than the people here. Like, it's abnormal to have matters here. That's how that's how bad it is. My flight's gonna be um, at 7 p.m., but I'm gonna leave China at um, 12.30. My boat uh, ride from China to Hong Kong is about an hour, which is at 2 o'clock. So by the time I get to the airport, it'll be like 4 p.m. So we'll just kind of wait around the airport until 7.30. And then from 7.30, um, it's going to be like a 12-hour flight, which is not so bad considering, you know, it took like 15, 16 hours to get here. So, and then after that, I'll be back in L.A. around 4 p.m. And I'll get to see my puppy bear and my grandpa and um, be back in my regular routine again. I'm going to have terrible jet lag, but I am going to miss the food here especially. Um, the food here is really, is, I mean, it's cheap and it's really good, especially street food. I think in Asia everywhere, the street food is really good, right? That That's my grandma with the blow dryer. She always, like, blow dries her clothes because it's not dried enough. Because, um, the normal thing to do in China is, like, we wash our clothes, but you hang dry it. So, that's what she's doing. Um, what else can I update you guys on? Um... I mean, that's about it. I'm just excited to go back home and um, get back into the routine of things. And then tomorrow we're going to go to the, or when I go back the day after, we're going to go to the Ellen show. But most of, really, uh, I just really miss my boyfriend. And um, it's definitely, I mean, I haven't been separated from him for more than like maybe two days. So two weeks is like a long time for me. I'm not used to it. Anyways, that's it. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and we're probably going to vlog a little bit about in the airport or something and then be back home. For now, I'm going to go to sleep. Good night. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.